So much of South Florida still underwater days after Ada's relentless rain. A lot of tough questions for South Florida water managers with so many communities still waiting for the water to go down. Did they make the right choices before and during the storm? Local 10's Hatzel Bella will have more on this. Hatzel. Well, Louis, the water management officials will tell you that everything was in place. In fact, they say the system is working as we speak. Water right now is moving along the C4 canal into a retention pond that they rarely use. Ada is long gone, but water is still pumping throughout South Florida. The rain undoubtedly tested our water management system. Miami-Dade did fairly well. In Miami-Dade, water management officials estimate between 6 and 11 inches of rain. In Broward, they saw up to 15 inches in some locations. There was a lot of water on the Broward side. Water management had to pull out all the resources to withstand the onslaught of rain, especially in Broward. Primary Canal did fine. Some of the secondaries, um, there were some issues we worked through with the municipalities. This is the C4 retention area. We're in western Miami-Dade County along Southwest 8th Street, west of the Turnpike. This retention pond was created after the 2000 no-name storm with the expectation that we would get what we got these past couple days. It draws water out of the canal and it, let, and it gives that groundwater somewhere to go. The retention pond is designed to increase capacity along the C4 Canal, which goes from about Miami International Airport to Chrome Avenue, affecting cities like Miami, West Miami, Sweetwater, and unincorporated Miami-Dade. I want to give you a sense of just how large this retention pond is. We're looking at 800 acres here, 15 feet deep, and they say because of the rain we got over the past couple days, it is almost at capacity. Here is a wider view from Sky 10. What you see there are not shrubs, but treetops. If filled to capacity, this retention pond can hold a billion gallons of water. So this retention pond, by the way, is only used when absolutely necessary. That gives you a sense of just how tough these storms were. Now the hard work begins because they start working with municipalities and trying to figure out what they learned from this last storm, specifically when it comes to drainage. Reporting live tonight from Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.